Our Apache web server contains a web root folder. All our website folders and files need to be stored in the HTML directory inside the web root folder in order for them to be web accessible. To navigate to the folder, type in the following command. Here, the www is the web root folder, and inside that folder, we have another subdirectory called HTML. We're now inside the HTML folder, and this is where all our web files need to be stored. To get a listing of the current directory, type in ls and press enter. We can see our HTML folder currently has one file, the default index.html file, which loads the Apache 2 default page when we plug our IP address into the web address bar. So that's the only file that's in there right now. Now return to the home folder. So type in cd space slash. In order to be able to add, edit, or delete files and folders in the web root folder, we need to have the right level of permission. By default, only root users have permission to add or modify files in this folder. In the next section of this course, we'll be uploading files to our web root folder from our local computer using an FTP agent. Since we're going to be connecting as user Bob, we need to make sure Bob has the necessary permissions to be able to upload, edit, and delete files in the web root folder of our production server. Before we give Bob the permissions he needs, let's take a look at what permissions already exist. Type in ls-la var ww. We can see that three lines appear. Each line gives us the current permission structure of a specified folder or file. The first line, represented by the single dot, gives us the permission structure of the current directory, which is the home directory. The next is the var directory, and the third is the www directory. The permission is represented by the drwxr-xr-x. The D here stands for directory. The rwx means user root, as we can see here, has read, write, and execute permissions for this directory. R is for read, W is for write, and X is for execute. The R-X means other group level users have read and execute permissions. The second R-X means everyone outside of root and group users have read and execute permissions. To give user Bob root level permissions for the web root folder, type the following, sudo space chown dash r Bob. Now enter the password for Bob. And that's it. The dash r will recursively change ownership of directories and their contents to the specified user. In this case, the user is Bob, and the directory is the web root folder.